What's the most elegant way, Mr. Giegold, of getting out of this mess? Well, what is so important about this judgment is it puts um, mm. basically fuses, uh, and these are truly dangerous. Uh, so it puts the fuse in the European legal order and one to the monetary order. Uh, the one on the monetary order is materially uh, uh, truly dangerous because um, the PSPP program and the newer PEP program of the European Central Bank is put into question. And therefore, it is so important uh, that the conflict in the monetary field is settled also to avoid uh, a new increase in spreads and market reactions. So there has to be clarity that all member states, and in particular Germany, stand behind the euro. And this means it is really important that in the euro system there is a cooperative solution. But in order to make that possible, the legal challenge has to be settled. And for this, Europe has to make clear that it stands behind the European Court of Justice. Now, otherwise, there is a danger right. of proliferation of national high courts calling into question the competences of the European level. Okay, so following the ruling, do you think the ECB can exercise its power freely and increase its bond purchases as needed? Or you seem to be intimating that actually it means that the ECB should be much more careful if this matter is not resolved quickly? It is, more, it is a bit more nuanced. So the Karlsruhe Court said the following. So materially, uh, the asset purchasing program may, may well be um, legal uh, and within uh, the European uh, order, the legal order, but the reasoning uh, for it has not been proportional enough. And therefore, right. they demand a new uh, decision of the ECB for the PSPP program. Now, the ECB yeah. has responded and said, we do not respond to national courts. We obey the European Court of Justice. The European Court of Justice said, has said it's not a problem. And if there is no new decision, the, the court, Karlsruhe Court has ordered the Bundesbank to stop part, participating in the PSPP program. And this is mm -hmm. a route for conflict, which is a, a reason for her, hooray for all the Eurosceptics, and therefore this route to, to conflict has to be calmed and with a new legal peace inside of the European Euro system. Do you think this, this ruling from the German Constitutional Court actually threatens the stability of the Euro? If uh, people are too stupid, it is a threat. Uh, if, people, uh, if all the ones responsible act responsibly, it can be settled. Inside of the euro system, uh, I think uh, everybody is very much aware of uh, what uh, is at stake. And therefore, uh, a cooperative solution, face keeping for the ECB and for the Bundesbank have to, has to be found. But for this, it is needed uh, that uh, the European institutions and first and foremost, the European Commission defends with uh, the European a court of justice and the European uh, order. Otherwise, uh, we will see uh, people in Hungary and Poland exploiting this space in order to call into question our rule of law and our fundamental rights and freedoms. Should the Bundesbank actually take the lead here in defusing the case and the crisis? I think the Bundesbank and the ECB have to find a cooperative face keeping solution. I think. If politicians now make precise proposals how to settle this, this would be stupid because it would be seen as an infringement of their independence. Therefore, I will not enter into making precise proposals. But I, I can only say as a politician, it is needed that we settle the legal conflict uh, uh, when it comes to the European um, rule of law inside of the European and between the European institutions and the member states so that the euro system can continue what it needs to do to keep the euro, uh, the euro stable in crisis times. Um, what are the options of Ursula von der Leyen right now? Uh, for her, it is clear she has to look into the legal side of the case. I, for my letter, I received a letter of applaudment all over Europe because the case is clear. 
uh, uh, Karlsruhe went very far in declaring um, uh, the, the, the respective um, bond purchasing program as beyond uh, the competences uh, of um, the uh, euro system. And therefore, uh, they went very far, and therefore that's a clear case for a treaty infringement procedure. Uh, however, it would not make sense to impose any fines. This is only to restate the legal position. Uh, fining based on a court judgment would in itself be seen as an infringement of the, uh, of the independence of the highest court of Germany. This would not be wise, and I'm not calling for that. You have been in the past a critic of the ECB, especially when it comes to transparency of its actions. What are the lessons that the ECB should draw from this? Does it need to speak to citizens differently to, to explain exactly what it's doing? Yes, I, I think that is uh, quite right. Uh, and uh, this is also true for the European Commission. So we had lots of critics from different uh, angles concerning the monetary policy. And I think we did not do enough in the euro system, as Europe, in the European Commission, but also in the European Parliament, to uh, take seriously enough uh, the concerns. So uh, I would like to start first with ourselves, because the European Central Bank is accountable to the European Parliament. Uh, we have a quarterly monetary dialogue. These uh, dialogues are very welcome, but uh, they have not reached the same depth of debate which we have seen now between the courts. Therefore, I think we also should take steps, uh, for instance, to give more space for experts to directly discuss with the ECB so that the quality of the accountability towards the European Parliament is increased uh, rather than leaving that to judges.